Hello everyone. I hope you have gone through my lectures on nesosilicates or orthosilicates and today we will discuss about ionosilicates. In this lecture, I will discuss about the structure and composition of pyroxene group of minerals which forms part of the chain silicate or ionosilicates. The references of the material that I have used in this lecture are shown at the bottom of the slide. In this slide, let's discuss about ionosilicates. In nesosilicate structures or orthosilicates, the SiO4 tetrahedra was isolated. But here, SiO4 is shared. There are two types of ionosilicates or chain silicates. The first one is single chain ionosilicates or simple chains. And second one is band structure or double chain structure. In single chain silicates, two of the four oxygen in each SiO4 tetrahedra are shared to give a ratio of Si is to O as 1 is to 3. Such simple chains may be joined side by side or laterally by sharing the oxygen of the alternate tetrahedra which forms the bands or double chain structure. In the double chain structure, half of the tetrahedra share 3 oxygen and the other half share 2 oxygen yielding a ratio of Si is to O as 4 is to 11. The chain silicates are common iron magnesium bearing silicates. The common examples for that includes the pyroxenes which are single chain silicates and amphibole forms an example for double chain silicates. All chain silicates are characterized by single or double chains of the SiO4 tetrahedra linked by different cations. Here we discuss about the structure of single and double chain silicates. In single chain silicates, two oxygen anions per tetrahedra are shared as shown in the figure giving a Z is to O ratio of 1 is to 3 that is the number of cations here it is Si4 plus and sometimes Al3 plus that occupy the tetrahedral sites shares with oxygen in a ratio as 1 is to 3 or 2 is to 6. If you take the 2 SiO4 tetrahedra as a unit as shown in the figure, the structural formula becomes Si2O6 with a valence charge of minus 4. As we have mentioned, pyroxene is a single chain silicate with a mineral anstatite having a composition Mg SiO3 is an example for single chain silicates. In double chain group, as shown in the figure, some tetrahedra share two oxygen anions and some share three oxygen anions. That is, alternate tetrahedron share three oxygen to form a double chain. As it is shown here, this tetrahedra is sharing three oxygen with the adjacent tetrahedra, whereas this and this one is left having on sharing only two oxygen at the corners. That is, the alternate tetrahedra share three oxygen to form the double chain. If you take a unit of four tetrahedra share 11 oxygen anions forming a structural formula of Si4 or 11 which is having a valency of minus 6. The example of double chain ionosilicates are amphibole and anthophyllite having a composition of Mg7, Si8, O22, OH2 is, is an example for amphibole group of mineral. Now let's focus on pyroxene group of minerals. Pyroxenes are essential minerals in basaltic rocks which make up the oceanic floor of the earth. Similar cations are found in pyroxenes and amphibole but pyroxenes are anhydrous minerals which means that it do not contain water. The hydroxide in amphiboles causes lower specific gravity and refractive index than pyroxene mineral. As we had mentioned, pyroxenes are the common minerals in basalts and that constitute the oceanic floor and the other related rocks. Pyroxenes are among the most common and important ferromagnesian silicate minerals. They are also found in rocks with different compositions and those formed during regional and contact metamorphism. The pyroxene minerals belong to two crystal systems 
such as orthorhombic and monoclinic forming the basis for the classification of pyroxene into two distinct groups now let's move to the structure of the pyroxenes you have seen now the single chain and double chain silicate structure looks like when you look at the b c plane or y z plane or rather in a plane view that it shares two oxygens in a sfo tetrahedron forming a elongated chain but here i am showing the oblique view of chain silicates with the left one showing the single chain pyroxenes with the right side is a double chain structure of amphibole it is important to visualize this as stacking of such pairs of structural elements as apex to apex and base to base forms the structure of pyroxene and amphiboles pyroxene structure is characterized by si or al tetrahedra with their corners sharing which forms a chain having the composition of si al o3 the apical oxygen of the tetrahedra are shared on each side of a ribbon or band of magnesium oxygen octahedron as shown in the figure the figure illustrates a chain of silica oxygen tetrahedra which are shown in blue color linked by oxygen those that are shown in the red spheres to a ribbon of magnesium oxide octahedra which is shown in yellow color as in the structure of diopside now these chains are stacked atop each other in an alternating manner such a way that the bases of the tetrahedra face bases and unshared apical oxygen face unshared oxygen here this shows the apical oxygen and here it shows the base of the tetrahedra the six fold coordinate or octahedral m1 sides occupy the space between the apical oxygen as shown here so this this is an apical oxygen here and this is another apical oxygen here and in between the space is occupied by the octahedral m1 cations and the spaces between the bases are occupied by the m2 sides having 6 to 8 fold coordinated cations so the two tetrahedral chains and the octahedral band at the middle as m1 side form a t o t structure that is tetrahedra octahedra tetrahedra so which forms a i beam structure as you can see in the figure the m1 octahedral side occur between two apical oxygen whereas the m2 sides occupied by six or eight fold coordinated cations between the base of the tetrahedron as shown here as we discussed in the previous slide a pair of tetrahedral chains with apical oxygen face each other and the octahedral m1 sides forms a structural unit which looks like the cross section of an i beam these tetrahedra octahedra tetrahedra structure are stacked one over the other and arranged in a interlocking fashion to form the structure of the mineral based on the lineup of the adjacent i beams the m2 sides are occupied by octahedral to cubic coordinated cation between the bases of the tot beam if the lineup produce six fold coordination for the m2 sides the structure form orthorhombic symmetry and for eight fold coordination the symmetry is monoclinic this may be seen as the chemistry of orthorhombic and monoclinic pyroxenes in which the former has a magnesium and iron cation at its octahedral side whereas the monoclinic pyroxenes have larger cations like calcium here also you can see that the units of two apical facing sifo tetrahedron and in between the side is occupied by a m1 octahedral cation and that forms a cross section of a i beam the cleavage in pyroxenes are determined again by the arrangement of the tetrahedra octahedra tetrahedra that is tot structural elements the cleavage splits the i beam at two cleavage direction at about 87 to 93 degree are found in pyroxenes which is used as a characteristic feature in its identification the near perpendicular set of 
cleavages are developed parallel to the 110 phases in the monoclinic pyroxene as shown in the figure. So, this is how the pyroxenes are constituted structurally. Now, let's discuss about the chemistry of pyroxenes. Pyroxenes have a general formula of X, Y, Z2, O6 in which X cations are occupied at the M2 sites having 6 or 8 fold coordination by cations like sodium, calcium, manganese, iron, magnesium and lithium whereas Y cations are represented by Mn, Fe, magnesium, iron, aluminium, chromium and titanium at the octahedral M1 structural sites. As we have discussed already, the M1 sites occupy between the apical oxygens whereas the M2 sites occur between two bases of the tetrahedra. Pyroxenes are classified on the basis of occupancy of M2 sites and their symmetry. Based on the symmetry, it is classified as orthopyroxene and clinopyroxene as some of the pyroxenes fall into orthorhombic system and some fall in the monoclinic system. Three groups of common pyroxenes are orthopyroxenes or also known as OPX, then low calcium clinopyroxene, example for it is pigeonite and calcium clinopyroxene or also known as CPX distinguished by different atomic arrangements and different crystal shapes. The composition of most common pyroxenes can be shown on a triangular diagram whose vertices are Ca2, Si2, O6 is known as wollastonite and Mg2, Si2, O6 which is known as enstatite and Fe2, Si2, O6 which is known as ferrocylite. The orthopyroxenes dominantly solid solution on N members of ferrocylite and enstatite having a general formula of Mg Fe twice Si2 O6. Both the M1 and M2 sites are octahedral and both can contain magnesium and iron. But the larger Fe cations are concentrated in the somewhat larger M2 sites. At higher temperature, orthopyroxenes may accommodate more calcium in the M2 sites than at low temperature. With slow cooling, the excess calcium is expelled to form X solution lamellae of augite parallel to 100. This is a ternary diagram showing the principal N members of pyroxene group. Here, wollastonite is not a true pyroxene because pyroxenes cannot contain more calcium than augite. The diagram cornered by diopside, hedenbergite, ferrocylite and enstatite is known as the pyroxene quadrilateral. It encompasses all the compositions of natural calcium, magnesium and iron pyroxenes. The most common clinopyroxenes have compositions that fall in augite field close to the diopside hedenbergite joint. Common orthopyroxenes have composition close to enstatite and ferrocylite joint which is known as orthopyroxene series. Subcalcic augite and pigeonite are clinopyroxenes with some less calcium which are only found in some high temperature rocks. Now let's discuss about the classification of pyroxenes. Calcium clinopyroxene or also known as CPX includes composition with solid solutions that extends from diopside which is having a composition of calcium, magnesium, Si2O6 to Hedenbergite the composition of which is CaFeSi2O6. So this has a general formula of CaMgFeSi2O6. The M2 sites contain mostly calcium and M1 sites contain mostly magnesium and iron. In the diopside Hedenbergite series, CaMgSi2O6 to CaFeSi2O6, the M1 site is occupied by magnesium and Fe2 plus in random distribution. Whereas the M2 sites is occupied by the larger Ca2 plus ion in the 8 coordination. The M2 sites however can also house 
manganese that is Mn2+, Fe2+, magnesium or lithium in which case the coordination is sixfold. The most abundant calcium clinopyroxene is augite in which some Al3 plus substitute both in the M1 site and for Si in the tetrahedral sites and some Na plus Fe or magnesium substitute for calcium in the M2 sites. Low calcium clinopyroxenes which is also known as pigeonite typically has more calcium than orthopyroxene but salt solution does not extend to calcium clinopyroxene. There is a miscibility gap occur between the pigeonite series and subcalcic clinopyroxene or calcic clinopyroxene. Sodium containing pyroxenes are known as agerine which is having a composition of Na, Fe3+, Si2O6 and another one is Z8 having a composition of NaAl, Si2O6. So pyroxenes are classified into two series that is orthopyroxene series and clinopyroxene series. In orthopyroxene series it comes mainly magnesium ion pyroxenes which are anstatite and ferrocylite. The composition of anstatite is Mg2Si2O6 and the composition of ferrocylite is Fe2Si2O6. The clinopyroxene which having different series the first one of which is diopside series having calcium clinopyroxenes the diopside and Hedenbergite. Diopside having a chemical composition Ca, Mg, Si2O6 and Hedenbergite as a chemical composition of Ca, Fe, Si2O6. In the hypersthene if you see the composition is Mg, Fe2, Si2O6 and for pigeonite it is a less calcium containing clinopyroxene having a composition of Ca, Mg, Fe twice, Si2O6 and augite which is having a composition of Ca, Mg, Fe, Na then in the octahedral position Mg, Fe, Al, Si, Al twice O6 and omphacite which is another calcic clinopyroxene having a composition of calcium and sodium in its cubic position and iron, magnesium, aluminium in its octahedral position and silica and alumina in its tetrahedral position which forms SiAl twice O6. As we have discussed some of the sodium pyroxenes include Z8 have, having a composition of NaAl Si2O6, Agerin which is having a composition of NaAl Fe3 plus Si2O6 and some lithium pyroxene having a composition of LiAl Si2O6 is termed as spodumene. So this is about the chemistry of pyroxene group of minerals. Thank you.